in another episode of nonsense be getting more nonsense did you see all this craziness that happened at the tour de france so i guess um you know with things getting to some semblance of normality sports side the tour de france can go back and get back to doing what they know best and it looks like you know people came out in their droves to compete in such a thing and you know it's a probably good thing for the local economy it boosts this tourism it allows people to make some extra coins and whatnot and allow the athletes to do what they know best and for some odd reason some harebrained neanderthal of a woman decided it was a good idea for her to put herself front and center of one of the stages and basically stand really you know close to where the cyclists were cycling with her stupid sign that you know I, I don't know first of all anyone any grown adult at home who decides to cut out a piece of cardboard and write with a pen any kind of signage and go out in the street with it waving in the air you know there's something wrong with you you definitely didn't get the love that you needed at home you definitely didn't have any friends you definitely played didn't play any sports you definitely ho didn't hook up with boys or girls when you're younger you know what i mean that's some that's some super dork behavior to be writing a sign as a grown adult then to do so again maybe if you're going to do it for a protest or a political rally or whatnot to enact change cool there's something commendable about that still a bit you know r worded but i kind of get it but to then do it so that you can become a viral sensation at the tour de france there is something really wrong with you especially when it has a negative effect on the race and basically results in loads of people maybe kind of not being able to compete if i'm not mistaken one frame i remember seeing a picture of one bike frame where the rear axle was completely cut was completely broken in half or something like crazy shit happened in this flipping race because this lady decided to kind of stick her nose where she wasn't meant to be but this is the video here courtesy of youtube let's play it quickly so you can see what i mean says here tour de france crush grinning fan wipes out most peloton on stage one with a cardboard sign imagine that right these are bikes that are usually what in the fight in the mostly above five thousand pound i'm assuming these bikes right they're made out of some of the most you know advanced metals carbon fiber super lightweight right just incredible stuff right um even the athletes themselves are incredible specimens they're able to ride on a bike continuously for hours and hours on end just the pinnacle the pinnacle and they're getting disrupted and their races are being basically dq'd or whatnot it may be because of a lady with a cardboard sign <laughs> And there's a lady there at the top of the screen. They're racing. She's too close. 40 kilometers from the... F oh, I didn't know that, actually. 40 kilometers from the finish. Tony Martin collided with the sign that was waved out in the road. 40 kilometers. Which may, may, that probably explains why there are many people there. Because I imagine at the Tour de France, there's more people usually at the beginning and at the end of the actual route itself. But 40 kilometers from the finish. So close. A lady with a sign changed the entire course of people's history when it comes. And imagine how long these guys are training for too, right? Imagine training all year round during COVID too, trying to keep themselves in tip top condition. And then this happens. God almighty. Look how many people got taken out. That is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. There she is, Alez, what's that, go, ompi, ompi, I don't know what ompi, ompi means, but Alez, I'm assuming is go, that's what they say in French, right, and then for some reason, because, you know, you're allowed to stand fairly close to the side of the road, don't get me wrong, I think, I remember my brother that went, he went to one of the, he went to one of the stages of the Tour de France, I forgot which one it was, and he basically said that, you know, it's quite impressive to see out front, because you don't really realise how fast these guys are going until you're day on the side of the road and you get to kind of stay quite close to where they are but you're not on the road itself you're kind of a, a you know a, a kind of a few feet away and if you look at the actual picture itself everyone else is either on this sort of mound here which is you know a considerable distance from the road or they're in this little ditch here but they're not on the road she's actually standing on the road itself and if she would have stand there and held a sign up people would have seen her still but she decided to go inside the actual road itself like oh I hate her so much, man. I hate her so much. And the guy actually hits her arm as well, not just the cardboard sign. The fan has eyes on the camera as she seems oblivious to the fact that she's at the Tour de France. That's what the issue is, because I think if he would have hit her cardboard sign, it would have been fine. But he actually hit her arm, which then is what kind of made him wobble. so unlucky man i feel so sorry for the guy and of course 
and of course, and of course, this is courtesy of the Washington Post. Tour de France officials say woman who crashed um, will be sued, but allegedly she's already fled the country, right? So it's here the post. It says a Tour de France official says the organization will sue an unidentified spectator who caused a massive pileup of cyclists by stepping into their path during the first stage of the race. This crash was at the first of the two races returned to its normal spot on the sports calendar following last year's delay because of coronavirus pandemic. So again, one of the oh god almighty i can't believe these people man um a woman holding a sign that says alles om oh op, so alles opi omi german terms endearment for grandpa so she was saying hi to her grandpa her grandparents like oh my god clip germany's tony martin who lost his balance and set off a chain reaction that sent cyclists sprawling across the pavement as she stepped in front of the peloton to display the sign on tv cameras several spectators and cyclists were injured in a crash the first day it occurred on a stretch of the or in the stage in which there was no metal crowd um control barriers I just don't believe, I just can't understand how she got away without being apprehended. Because for the most part, there's always a kind of medical, um, you know, uh, people there, right, ambulances and stuff. And usually I'm assuming some police just in case something happens. Like, I'm surprised she wasn't apprehended right there on the spot. Um, it says, yeah, we're suing this woman who behaves so badly, says Pierre Hughes, um, Tooth, or whatever that name is, the tour deputy director, tour de Angers, France, Press. Um, we're doing this so that the tiny majority of people who do this don't spoil the show for everybody. The woman who fled the scene had not been found on, as of Sunday, and police from Londres, the stage endpoint, continue to investigate. They said, We haven't heard back from them yet, and um, we're going to repeat our calls for fans to behave time and time again through the police on the side of the road and our social network. Most of the fans are peaceful, but I want to stress that you come to see the tour, you don't take selfies, you keep your kids close to you. Exactly. Who's taking selfies again? If you're going to take a selfie, take it from far away but i guess some people are so all worthy that they would kind of stand right near the road so they can take it as the cyclists are coming by them if that was me and i was cycling i would knock i'll be knocking phones out of people's hands on a continuous basis like if you come near me as i'm cycling on the tour de france i'm knocking that thing out of your hand i'm not sitting in this uncomfortable seat for more than six hours to have some donut with a crappy phone trying to take a picture of me as i'm cycling down the street trying to put food on my people's table no way the route of 21 day race winds through the urban rural and mountainous areas where crowd control is difficult and mostly left up to individuals who narrow the road um as a peloton rides okay so that's understandable what happened because you know in these smaller towns where there's no real need to get a fish because imagine if they tried to get people stewards to officiate the thing it would be such a monstrous effort to do and financially as well it's just probably not enough money in it to make it make sense so by and large i'm assuming it's like a kind of tacit agreement between people it's sort of similar to like tennis um they don't have many loads of stewards in the stands making sure people keep quiet it's mostly you just basically agree as viewers to not make noise because you want to watch a good tennis match and you want to make sure you know the athletes are you know performing to their best and what how they perform to their best is if you kind of keep your mouth shut and turn your phone off so maybe that's basically what happens and then of course that leaves it open for people to take the piss it says yes yeah, a good it's good to have um Quote here said it's a good thing to have all these fans on the side of the road, but it brings extra stress, extra danger, says Rick Ver Verbroge Verbroge. Vic Verbigihi, the sports manager of the Israeli startup Nation Sports Manager, told reporters, We saw also the first crash was because of a fan. Most of the time, the fans make it pretty dangerous because they make the road narrower, but it's part of the game. That's what cycling is so exciting and so beautiful. Martin, who said he was uninjured in the crash, used social media to urge fans to be more aware. He said to people next to the road who think of the Tour de France as a circus, to the people who risk everything for a selfie with a 50 kilometer last peloton, to people who think it is nice to show their naked butt to drive drunken people who push us sideways on the clips um to people who think it's a good idea to hold the sign onto a road while the pencil is passing i want to ask these people forcefully please respect the riders and the tour de france here on instagram use your head or stay home we don't want you here you risk your life and your and our dreams for you we so your you risk your life and our dreams for that we work so hard exactly definitely true um julian ale philippe a la Philippe, um, one Saturday stage with blood dripping from his scraped knee. He says, I hope everyone is okay. As Philippe told Reuters after the 122.9 mile stage from Brest to Londres, New. 122 miles riding a bicycle. Wow. I'm calling on the fans to be more careful. I remember the furthest I went 
on a daily basis is when I was at my fittest actually I used to basically cycle from one side of London to the other so I was maybe about 13 miles so I was basically doing like a marathon a day 26 odd miles a day on my bike and I was fit as a fit on my I could you know that was and again the, my bum would be sore as hell and i'd be dripping in sweat so i can just imagine what 122.9 miles is like it says here last week's race last year's race was delayed in august because of the pandemic and blah 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 blah. but yeah the woman obviously fled the scene they let her get away probably because she's a woman yeah, i'm joking probably not but yeah it's just i don't know people are weird isn't it people are weird hoping she gets caught she gets sued she gets shamed and all that good stuff and she doesn't do that again but in general i think most people are pretty much well behaved but you know, this need for clout and social media likes is just ruining the human race, isn't it? It's ruining the human race.